Okay, in this video, we will prove that the set of irrational numbers is dense in R. We will use the theorem that says the rationals is dense in R. The set of rationals is dense in R. So we don't we don't have to do all this process for the set of irrational numbers. Okay, so we'll be using this. We'll also use so these are the things that we use. Okay, uh, one. We're going to use Q is dense in R. And 2, the square root of 2 is irrational. Okay, we proved that. So the square root of 2 belongs to the complement of C. And 3, we'll use that when you multiply a non-zero rational by irrational you get irrational you multiply square root of 2 by rational you get irrational okay unless r is 0 unless r is 0 the square root of 2 uh, or rational times irrational is always irrational we'll prove we'll use that that's an exercise in the book so rational times irrational is irrational if r is rational, not zero, and i is irrational. The product of rational and irrational, non-zero rational and irrational is irrational. So we're going to be using these to prove that one. So let's a let's let's let a and b be uh, in r, okay? With a less than b. Okay, let's A. Now, let R be a rational number. So, if A is less than B, A times uh, A over square root of 2 with, so A over square root of 2 is less than B over square root of 2. Okay, because 1 over square root of 2 is, is positive. Okay? Because 1 over square root of 2 is positive. So let's find an R. Between A over square root of 2 and B over square root of 2. If our choice of R happens to be 0, then 0 is between A and B. So we're just going to find another r between 0 and b over square root of 2. Okay? If r is 0, then find, okay, find an s between r and b over square root of 2. In B, meaning 0 and square root of 2. This is R. And call this S R. Okay? So just rename it and call it R. Okay? So R between A and A square root of 2 over B over square root of 2 with R not equal to 0, okay? Then A over square root of 2 is less than R is less than B over square root of 2 multiply by square root of 2 gives you A is less than R times square root of 2 is less than B but R times square root of 2 is irrational so we're done. We found an irrational number between A and B.